Hi guys, welcome back to Meet Me on Main Street, the place to be if you're a Walt Disney World addict like me. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite places to get wine in Walt Disney World. So this is going to be pl places to get wine where they have good wine that I like, but also some places to sit and relax and drink wine. So it's kind of a combo of both. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and the bell so you're notified for when I upload new videos. I'm uploading videos every day during this quarantine, so you don't want to miss any of these videos. If you're new here, welcome. I'm B, and I'm a Disney addict. I spend as much time as is physically possible in Walt Disney World, and one of the, my favorite things to do when I'm there is to relax and have a glass of wine. So go grab a glass of wine for yourself and let's start talking about my favorite places to get wine in Walt Disney World. By the way, these are in no particular order, not from favorite to least favorite or least favorite to favorite. They're just all equally favorite places of mine. Number one, Tutto Gusto in the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. This place is so cozy and they have amazing wine. When you can go in and you can sit at the bar if you want to, they have tables, so if you want to get a full meal, you can actually get a full meal from Tutto Italia, the Italian restaurant that's connected to it, and um, have it and eat it over in Tutto Gusto. They also have this really cozy little section of three love seats and little um, coffee tables in front of them where you can sit and relax and you could stay there for hours, literally. So this is one of my favorite places to really relax and have some wine, and they have great wines there. If you love Italian wine and you love Italian food, it is a great place to just relax during like the hottest part of the day when you don't want to be out in the heat or maybe there's a rainstorm going on and you <clears throat> want to get out of the rain. It's a great place. They have one of my favorite things to eat there too. It's called Salametto. And it's just this, it's this salami from Italy, but it's so good. Really good. Number two, anywhere else outside in the Italy Pavilion in Epcot, there's a little wine shop right there when you get to the Italy Pavilion and you can get wine to go, like a glass of wine to go and sit anywhere you want to sit in Italy. It's really nice. That's also where you can get a lot of good Italian wines if you really like Italian wines. It's also a great place to do some people watching if you enjoy people watching when you're in Walt Disney World. Grab a glass of wine, sit at one of the little tables outside or on the steps of the big center thing and just watch the people go by. Number three, the Nomad Lounge in Animal Kingdom Park. If you guys haven't been to the Nomad Lounge yet, you are really missing out. I mean, it is a great place to relax and you just totally forget that you're even in a theme park when you're there. They also have some really amazing wines there. They have a lot of wines from South Africa, which are so good. I highly recommend checking out the wines the next time you're in Nomad Lounge. I know we usually I, I talk about a lot of the drinks that I like from the Nomad Lounge, but the wine there is also really good. By the way, did you guys know that I have a blog to go along with this YouTube channel? You should check it out. It's bejensen.com. B-E-E-J-E-N-S-E-N.com. And it goes along with all of this. It's all Disney, all the time, talking about all kinds of stuff. So go check it out. Plus I have like a picture section of pictures I've taken in Walt Disney World. You can buy shirts that I've designed from there. I recommend it. Number four, Les Vins de France in the France Pavilion in Epcot. Let's face it, there's a lot of places in Epcot you can get wine. So if you're in the mood for French wine, this is not a sit down place. You can't sit down and relax here, but it's a little wine shop in the back of France and they have really good French wines in there. You just get the glass and then you can go outside and sit on sit by the fountains or by the flowers. There's lots of places you can sit down in the France pavilion area 
and drink your wine and relax. They also, they don't have any food at that one, so it's strictly if you want wine. Although I do think that they have a, um, a wine and cheese kind of thing that you can do where you go around to different places in Epcot and you get wine and cheese at each one. I don't, I don't know if it's wine and cheese or if it's just wine. I've never done it, but it's like, I don't know, 20 or $30 and you get to go to four different places and get wine. Might be wine and cheese. Don't hold me to that. I'm not, I've never done it, but it looks kind of fun. Number five is Wine Bar George in Disney Springs. This place, if you haven't been, is so big and so nice. I was really impressed when we went there. It's gigantic. There's a whole huge bar area downstairs and it's very modern and open. Then you go upstairs and they've got couches to sit on and they've got <clears throat> tables and another bar. It's really nice. And you can pick your own flights. Like they have flights on the menu that you can do, but you can also design your own. And the waiters there will come and they can help you design your own wine flight if you're not certain what to get. You can tell them what you like and what you don't like and they can help you. They have a giant, it's called the Big Board, I think. They have a giant charcuterie and cheese board that is so good. In fact, when we were there, George himself came and talked with us about each of the wines that we had when we were uh, doing our little wine tasting. I don't go to Disney Springs very often, but I would go to Disney Springs just to go to Wine Bar George. I think it's... Uh, it's a really nice place. Number six is the lounge in Animal Kingdom Lodge. So this is the um, the big one, Jumbo House, not the DVC, Kidani Village. Um, they have just a, a lounge there where you can go and have a glass of wine. There's a bar, you know, and then there's really, really nice atmosphere. Um, you know I love the atmosphere in Animal Kingdom Lodge, so it's really nice to go and sit there and have a wine flight or just a glass of wine and some cheese. You can also go to Gico downstairs where they do wine tastings if you want. But I really just love to sit and relax in the lounge there in Animal Kingdom Lodge. I did that when uh, I took the girls on a trip a couple years ago now. It'll be two years in July. And my annual pass had expired so I couldn't go to the parks. And they still had theirs. So they were out at the parks and I went to Animal Kingdom Lodge and sat and relaxed and had some wine and cheese. It was really nice. I really like it there. And number seven is not a specific place, so to speak, but it is a great place to get wine when you're in Walt Disney World. And it is the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot. That happens every fall and it seems to be getting longer and longer every year. I really don't know if it's going to be happening this year or not. I'm so sad to miss the Flower and Garden Festival but it usually runs from late August all the way to like mid-November. So they have so many wines and they have ones that they specifically pair with certain dishes at certain places and it, it like it's like that Remy moment I call it when you drink the wine and you eat the food and yeah the Food and Wine Festival is a great place to get wine in Walt Disney World. Now you could get wine anywhere really. I mean all of the parks have wine. I've never gotten wine in Hollywood Studios. Um, you guys know it's not my favorite park. I like it a little more now that there's Toy Story Land and Star Wars because there's more to do there. Plus that Mickey ride has opened. But I've never actually, I know there's some places that people, in fact if you know of a good place to get wine in Hollywood Studios comment below and let, let us all know because um, I've never I've never had wine there. Usually when I go there it's like for a couple hours in the morning and then we leave and go someplace else. And then Magic Kingdom, you can get wine now in Magic Kingdom at some of the sit-down restaurants. It's usually just like a house wine though and it's not when you're at Magic Kingdom you're not really thinking about relaxing and drinking wine. You're thinking about going on rides and having fun with your family. So I've never really had wine. I think I've had like a glass of wine with a meal at the Italian restaurant, the Lady and Tramp one, and also at the Skipper's Canteen in Adventureland, but um, it's not special and you know, it wasn't to just relax and it was just a glass of wine. 
All right, guys, those are my favorite places to get wine in Walt Disney World. Let me know in the comments where you like getting wine in Walt Disney World. And remember to hit the subscribe button right now and check out these videos over here as well. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching for more of my favorites right here. Bye!